All right. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, this is a collective reading. Um, hope everybody's doing okay. Y'all see the little, the little, the little scenery back there? I know. A new spot. Um, y'all know I like to try to do a different um location or spot every time I do a reading. Um, but I might do this one a lot. When it get cold, no, it's gonna be. It's chilly now. I was waiting for the sun to come um overcast where I'm at. Um, because y'all know it's, I'm in a historical, cute little retro building. Um, some people might know what it is, but it's cute. I used to actually come here when I was in high school, like a summer internship. And I'm actually going to be using a new deck. So I have been had this one, the Fountain Tarot. Um, but I had, well, it was, it was given to me. It's cute. It's like a Fountain Tarot. So I'm going to do like five, I'm going to do six cards for us. Let's do six cards today. And then I'm gonna clarify the ones that we need to be clarified. We're just gonna just shuffle. We're gonna we going we gonna do that. All right. Um, today is Wednesday, middle of the week. We love a Wednesday. We love a cute little, cute little hump day. Um, I'm gonna do two oracle cards. Two or I have two oracle decks. Two oracle messages for us. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Um, and yeah, it is nifty. Y'all know I'm a new mix. I got on my long johns. I'm not playing today. Um, as soon as I feel a little brisk. I make sure I have myself wrapped up. Hey. We got the Queen of Swords, we have the Fool, okay. We have the Hangman, we have the Six of Swords, and then we have the Two of Swords, okay. So, one more, one more, Seven of Wands, okay. All right, so we have the Five of Cups, bottom of the deck, and then we have the Five of Coins, okay. So a lot of the collective still feeling, a lot of people are still feeling like they were left out in the cold, um, deceived maybe, um, abandoned. Um, but a lot of people are coming in with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords ain't playing. She's she's all about like cutting like she's detached from her emotions. So she comes in very like logical, very strategical. Um, but she also comes in very tactful. She doesn't take any BS. So like if people are lying or people are misleading, and you know it, you cutting it down. You are gonna call it out for what it is um, with no remorse. You know, because um, you are gonna be like they're insulting my intelligence. So people might have been like assaulting the intelligence of the collective, or like people might have been like trying to mislead you and 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 kissing on your back and t telling you it's raining um trying to you know mislead you pull the wool over your eyes but you're like honey i have 2020 vision i don't need you know what if, what are we doing um seeing the wolf um in, in the sheep's clothing right um but it's also taking affirmative action when it comes to boundary setting when it comes to like structure there might be things related to court or something like a female judge or something like that um then we have the fool the, uh, the fool is taking a step in the right direction without having um and this is kind of both of these cards are kind of like it's one is emotional spiritual one is logical right so um a lot of people are probably planning like over planning and like over projecting like over and when you do that you you don't move at all the fool is suggesting that you take a step in, in with a leap of faith without having to have a necessary like step b if that makes sense it's going to work out regardless like if your intentions are in the right place you have nothing to worry about just keep progressing and keep moving forward it also relates to pisces energy the queen of swords is all the air so uh aquarius gemini and libra energy um oh no the hangman i'm sorry that's the next one uh that's pisces the hangman is seeing something from their perspective a lot of us are probably fearful of taking this step in a, in a new direction because we don't know how it is or we don't know the perspective from another you know looking at something from another uh, perspective or Sometimes waiting, like sitting and waiting, um, has caused us to, to miss this opportunity, miss opportunity. Like the hangman, he's sitting there. He's he's sitting. He can free himself any time, but he's trying to see something from another point of view before he can progress forward in life. And that's also having that that faith, right? That that intuition, that that drive. Be like, you know what? I got it. I know. I know God got me. I know I got it. Um, and then progress. Keep moving forward without the fear. Like some people have to have A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O N P. Sometimes just, just go to, from A to B and just know that B is going to be there is good enough, right? And then we'll just keep going. When you learn how to re like relax and release and go with the flow of life, things will harmonize and manifest so much more easier in your life versus you always having to feel like you've been swimming against the current. Because a lot of us come out fighting. We have to. And we have to navigate the world through like perseverance, through grit, you know, through, through trauma, through transformation. But that is what life is about. It's also about learning how to switch that off and relaxing and letting life flow to us and letting us flow with life. The world is with us, not against us. And if you think the world is against you, honey, you're going to be losing every time, okay? For all the grains of sand on the beach. Then we got the six of swords. So yeah, a lot of us, again, are planning something, a getaway or an escape or a release. And then when we do so, we have to release the burdens of mental despair, like mental despair, like uh, ruminating thoughts, things that people said to us, maybe things that 
hurt us, uh, ideas that, that, that no longer serve us, like releasing it and letting it go and moving on. You're going to be, people are probably moving soon or it's going to be some venture or it indicates some form of transportation. So it's like somebody you're going, is going from, just like me, like I, from here, from yesterday, um, completely different spot, like just being able to open your mind to horizons to go to, right? Or go, go, go uh, towards. Um, we have the two of swords so a lot of us are strained with the decision damned if you do damned if you don't like you're stuck in between two things that's mental we need to have a lot of people need to get some journals and start doing some some journaling or doing some uh chakra energy uh routine or some some, some stuff like that but there's a, a lot of releasing because the seven of wands is at the end all right two of swords seven, seven of wands that means that a lot of things are like um you're you're getting lost in your thoughts you're getting lost on the why so start remember it remember to uh, ask yourself what and how That'll get you to a conclusion and a solution. Why will keep you ruminating forever, right? Um, there's a lot of things being thrown at you at once. There might be a lot of messages, a lot of downloads, a lot of options when it comes to like things that you can invest your passion or, or just when it comes to your energy into. Um, but the thing is, is you feel like you have to make a decision, but it's also telling you to wait in another perspective. So things will come into clarity when you learn about balance, intuition, and also just trusting your heart, you know, and also using your discernment about it as well. I know that's a lot of things at once, but I think y'all know what to do. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to clarify. Let's clarify. Uh, I'm going to clarify the. Uh, ooh, we're just going to see. I'm going to see whatever card comes. Oh, oh, that's one. Okay. This card is blue flooded out. The sun. Okay. So put the sun next. Okay, the sun. So the sun is, is realizing the energy, the passion that we have. Also, revitalizing energy. It means like abundant energy within, within, within new resources. Like there might be uh, references to sunflowers. Um, I also see Leo energy. Leo energy is reference to the sun. It's ruled by the sun. Um, but it's also it's, it's igniting things. It's taking our passions into the next into the next level, right? And it's, it's it's also excited about it. It's like the birth. It's the joy. Might be fertility coming up. Like we see the baby there. So it's it's abundant new energy. It's innocent too. Ace of Wands, so that means a burst of passions when it comes to innovative ideas, thoughts, and it's also th things get being delivered to us by the divine, but and that's not knocking it, right? Sometimes knocking a blessing away can, can, is disrespectful if you keep doing it, you know? Let's see what else we got here. Six of, King of Cups, okay, yep, so a lot of this was caused by either like a lot of mental disparity was caused by it doesn't have to be a man but somebody with uh masculine energy or somebody that is you know more emotional energy but he probably was emotionally yeah page of cups probably was emotionally deceiving or probably was a person that told you told, told you all a lot of things like broken promises or things and it was false it might have been false it might have been fake it might have been something that he couldn't live up to and he knew it so he tried to make you feel projecting narcissistic energy we don't like those put him on the island um and it's telling you that you have to do some hard work. Uh, the, the decision that you're going to have to make is also going to be something where you're going to have to spend some time alone or time by yourself to do some self-reflection. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. It's almost coming to a completion, but you see she has a little bird. Maybe like you have a little cat, a little animal, or some type of energy, you know, like something that's going to be comforting for you. But a lot of us are going to have to do some introspection on ourselves and figure out, like, why we were allowing patterns to happen, why we're here in the first place. Um, and then also, too, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, things that were lost, things that were lost versus what we actually have within, within us. The people, a lot of people are focused on what was, what, what, what was and what, you know, focus on what is next. You know, where do you want to go next? How are you going to get there? You know, like, you know, what, what are the steps you're going to take to be successful in that? You know, what aren't you going to allow next time so you won't be in the same predicament you are now? That's some things that we need to start asking ourselves, like, and then the rest will come. Ooh, Jesus. Lord, I don't know if it's the wind out of the... But yeah, I love this little this little energy we have here, a little background. And I did it all within under 10 minutes. I know that's right. I'm trying to be more faster with, with the read so I can get like it done. If you want a private reading or if you want to, um, you want information about a, a chart reading or anything like that, let me know in my DM, you know. Uh, let's see. My capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. Period. That was a. I recognize that I have cho chosen fear, and I have chose, and that I choose again. I choose love. Yep. So people keep choosing fear over love, right? Things that we're scared of. Like you choose the things that you know gonna hurt you, that you know is not gonna be good for you. Instead of choosing yourself, or choosing the things that you need to do that's gonna better yourself. All right. And then we got the last card here. Let's see. That one. It says empathetic star star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Let that sink in. But all right, y'all. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. I will see you all next time. And ciao.